Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. German troops near the Russian border. Well, um, unsurprising. Why? Because Lithuania agreed to have a German military base in their country. Uh, I don't think it's temporary. And they were supposed to get about 5,000 uh, troops in Lithuania. Interesting, interesting how things how wind blows you know lithuania germany russia soviet union all right let's look into this article coming from russian day more german troops arrive near russian border berlin has deployed the first soldiers from a preeminent 4800 strong force to lithuania germany <laughs> if they look like this ones that's good then no no fear my friends germany has sent an advanced military team to lithuania as part of plans for a full strength armor brigade prem permanently permanently stationed in the baltic state which borders russia kaliningrad in the baltic states border russia yeah okay moscow has described the mission as a threat that requires quote unquote special measures i will show you on the map where that is in response german defense minister boris pistorius i think he doesn't work in germany's interest this pistorius based on his based on his statements was among those to see off 21 military service members and civilian employees who departed on monday from berlin to vilnius can you believe this the german defense minister went to see to see 21 people living i think these are the guys is that i mean that's very important for his on his agenda the minister praised the bundeswehr deployment as a clear signal of solidarity with germany's fellow nato member well as long as lithuania also have troops in germany but germany doesn't need any more because there's no room for them they already got the americans over there in tens of thousands so <laughs> No room for you guys. The Lithuanian Brigade or Panzer Brigade 45. These are the these are the guys. My God. Oh, that's Angela Merkel over there. These are the guys, my friends, right there. Christ. No worries. No worries if you were anyway. Look at that. Look at this guy. With this. Look at his. Oh, you don't see it. Look at his shoes and look at his shoes. Look at his jeans. God, they're all bent forward, over, hunchbacked. What the hell? Straight, chest out. Where is that out? Oh, so much humility for no reason, man. For no reason. So the Lithuanian Brigade or Panzer Brigade 45 is set to include some 4,800 soldiers and 200 civilian employees by the time it becomes fully operational in 2027. It will be hosted at the Rudninkai training ground in the southeast of the country as well as near the town of Rukla. Some German troops will be located just 20 kilometers from the border with Belarus, a key Russian ally. Lithuania also borders the Russian enclave Kaliningrad. So let me show you where that is. First, we're going to have a, the map of Europe and Lithuania is right here. This is Kaliningrad. This is the Russian enclave. This is Russia as well. The one uh, with yellow. So this is Lithuania. This is Kaliningrad. This is Latvia. This is Estonia. This is Ukraine. This is Belarus, obviously. So they have uh, map uh, maps two locations two military bases i'm going to show you in detail we're going to have this is the uh, map of lithuania and one is by kaunas right here i've been to kaunas and european championships kyokushin uh, what year was that 1990 jesus christ 96 i think it was Kaunas, right? Kauna, Kauna. And it was Lietuva, Lietuva, one over there, and one by Vilnius, right here, the capital. So I will show you from uh, Google Maps, uh, whatever, the one is Kaunas, right here, the other one here. So one is Rukla, 
and Rukla is right here. This is Lithuania, this is Kaliningrad, this is Latvia. So this is, as I said, Kaunas here, Vilnius, Kaunas here, Vilnius here, and this is located here, the military ground. And the other one is from Rudninkai or something like that, Rudninkai, and that is by Vilnius, south of Vilnius, and this is Belarus here. Right here is Belarus. This is Vilnius next to Vilnius, actually, the capital. All right, now we got that covered. Lithuania, which has for years been upgrading the infrastructure needed to house foreign troops, has described the German deployment as historic. Yes, it is. Not for the good uh, reasons, I guess. The arrival of the advance team four months after the roadmap for, roadmap for the permanent mission was sig signed heralds a new paper of a deeper Lithuanian-German partnership. Well, while you're at it, why don't you take uh, Gdansk, Danzig from Poland? I mean, after all, go ahead and take the uh, East Prussia, <laughs> right? Remember, East Prussia is located in this part right here, correct? East Prussia. This is Germany. And this part was East Prussia. And Danzig is here, Gdansk, right here. Now it's in Poland. I mean, don't get mad with me. Right? So let's do it like this. Germany, this was East Prussia, this area right here. Okay, let's go back. Defense Minister Papa Pap declared he welcomed the troops. So these were the fantastic. The, what is that? Describe German you know, infrastructure. So these were the advanced team. This is an advanced team. Wow. They are all uh, office, office people. Why? being like hunchback they sit at the desk all the time if they will be out in the open they will not have this bad body posture these are all sit downers sit downers i can get over this guy i'm sorry this is jesus christ and he's probably very important uh i mean i'm not probably certainly in this uh, puzzle which is not really a puzzle Vilnius has touted the German forces as a deterrent against Russia, although Moscow perceives it as yet more evidence that NATO is encroaching on its borders. This continues an escalation of tension, this is the Russian stance, the creation of hotspots of threats to us at our borders, which will certainly require special measures to ensure our security. Not good, I guess. So, what do you think, my friends? Remember, Russia did not move towards NATO. NATO moved towards Russia and expected no Russian reaction. I mean, really? It's imbecilic. The baboons will uh, buy that. Uh, the Americans are close. Now, uh, Finland is NATO member state. Uh, Sweden is. Romania has all kind of occupation troops on, on. I'm sorry. They defend the Romanians. The Poles are full of foreigners over there. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, but they are free countries, they're sovereign countries. It doesn't add up whatsoever. It shouldn't, uh, but nevertheless, these guys work full time in uh, conditioning the baboons in believing that they are the forces of good over there and they don't provoke anybody. Because if, if you look at NATO's uh, record, just a defensive alliance, like in Yugoslavia, in Libya, in Iraq, and Afghanistan, Syria, all defensive because all these countries attacked NATO and they created problems in North Atlantic Treaty Organization, peace in Europe, because all these countries, except the ones that were that attacked Yugoslavia, uh, were in Europe, all of them. Just open an atlas and look over the maps. I, I don't think you need to because I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, the Russians will react and these guys will say, see, the Russians bad dudes. Why? We have no bad intention. I mean, this is, this is imbecility. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.